Hey kids, I'm Professor Jean. And this is my friend Prem. He is unhappy because he has diabetes and needs insulin to stay healthy and happy. Today we are going to make insulin through a genetically modified organism. An organism is any living thing like me and you and a tree and flowers too. Not like a rock. All organisms are made up of cells. This is a cell you would find in an animal, like a human. In the cell, there is DNA. Your DNA is what makes you, you. Your DNA gives you the characteristics you have, like your eye color. Your eye color and your other characteristics are caused by the genes in your DNA. Here is the gene for eye color. Your DNA also determines your hair color. And here is the gene for hair color in your DNA. And one other thing your DNA determines is your height. And here's the height gene. An organism is genetically modified when its genes have been changed. There's also a gene in your DNA that makes insulin. Insulin is what Prem needs. So to get this gene, we use restriction enzymes to cut it out. Restriction enzymes are like scissors. They cut your DNA at certain sections. Here is the insulin gene. This is a cell of a bacteria, another type of organism. In bacteria, some of the DNA is in circles. These are called plasmids, and we can use them to insert a gene into the bacteria. In order to insert the insulin gene into the plasmid, we need to cut the plasmids with restriction enzymes, or the scissors. Then we need to insert the insulin gene into the plasmid. Another enzyme called ligase helps us to do this. Ligase is like a glue stick and glues the end of the insulin gene to the plasmid. Then we can put the plasmid with the insulin gene back into the bacteria. The bacteria is now a genetically modified organism because it's a living thing and we have modified or changed its genes. The bacteria duplicates again and again to make many, many bacteria with the insulin gene. The bacteria have a human insulin gene, so they make human insulin. The scientists can take this insulin and give it to people with diabetes, like praying, so that they can be healthy and happy.